I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own YouTube banner using a pre-made template a template i've already pre-made for you guys it's going to make this whole process a lot easier it's going to make it so you can change and edit every time if you wanted to let's get started man let's get this party going the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and download that template you're going to want to go to my store the link is right here the midas mvmt.com forward slash shop digital this link will be in the description as well as every other link that I will be using in this tutorial. So you want to scroll down to the bottom and then grab a free customizable YouTube banner template. Zero dollars, so it's free. So you get a file that you can open with a 7-zip or WinRAW archiver. Something that can, you know, uncompress a folder, basically, because it's a compressed folder. So once you have that, as you can see right here, I have my little folder, the YouTube banner template. You can open that up, and then as you can see right here, you get four different files. So you want to open the Photoshop banner template editable finished copy. But before that you want to install the fonts that are on there which is retro chips unless you're not going to be using this font if you want to go look for more fonts that you could use you can go ahead and check this website www.defont.com there's a bunch of different styles once you get your fonts you know settled you want to open up the editable banner template so once you have that open you want to change the background I don't know if you want a plain color if you want to add and you know an actual background so for this tutorial I'm just gonna add an actual background I'm gonna show you guys how to change the regular color at the back right there you want to come to this layer right here that says your art here right click on it hit blending options and then you can just go to color overlay and change this to whatever color you want so right there white you see red whatever you want but I'm not gonna be using just a basic color I want to show you guys how to use a random background so you can go to this website right here on splash.com this link will be in the description as well and just download some high quality image I've already downloaded a picture that I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna hit file over here and then import it so file and then open this is how you bring in anything you want to work with whatever picture it is you look for it on your computer mine is in my downloads I'm just gonna grab that and then I'm gonna open it right there so you can see it's a large photo and it's already open I'm just gonna grab it so right here if you want to move this from this workspace to this workspace make sure you're clicking left and holding down you know on your mouse as well as pulling it so when you pull it you just drag it over top here and it's just gonna automatically switch to this workspace once you have it in this workspace then you let go and then it's gonna give you some message sometimes it's not and just hit ok it doesn't matter what it says so then you come over to the layers menu and you grab this new layer you just pulled in here and pull it all the way down until it's over top your art here so once it's over top there then it's over top it's basically below everything that you need it to be below and then you right click on this layer and then you click create clipping mask so you want to make sure all your important things that you want to show across all devices so mobile devices computer everything you know tablets you want to make sure everything is within this space right here if you don't have these blue lines you want to go over to your view and then turn on rulers so as you can see right here I have mine turned on with this little check mark if you have your rulers on you can just pull these that's how I created those lines by right Right there so you pull from there and you pull from here that's how you create them so you can drag as much as you need as you can see I'm just like creating a bunch of different ones so I don't need all these ones right here the other ones I have there they're just the mark points that you don't want to cross when you're creating your banner so it shows across all you know platform the next thing you want to do is you want to change the text name your channel name so I'm gonna change this to something I'm just gonna change this to Midas and my DAS right there and I'm gonna take off the name and then I'm gonna center this so if you want to center your name whatever it is right here I'm just gonna make it large first in order to make this channel name larger just left click on the mouse and hold down alt as well on the keyboard and just pull it's gonna you know keep it keep the dimensions pretty much square so you want to make sure you hold it and then resize it once you have a resize you click the check mark at the top there you can then center it while this layer is selected as you can see and then control command a once it's selected right there so this aligns my you know name horizontally and this aligns it vertically but I don't need vertical so I'm just gonna command or control Z to undo you also press command D if you see these little dotted lines around your layer command D is gonna take that off and then you can go back to editing I've put in some PNG images here as well as some text for you know if you want to change put a name for your Facebook your, your your link everything but I'm not gonna be using these right now I'm just gonna delete all of these right now because I want a cleaner you know more minimalist look for my banner so I'm gonna delete the name here as well as the Facebook here and just delete it and then I'm, now I'm gonna make this so it's more centered and just hit right here like I showed you guys earlier command D to deselect everything now I'm gonna place an image right here you can place a logo you can place an image of yourself you can place multiple images around this I'm gonna place only one image right here. I'm gonna import an image right now show you guys what I'm talking about okay so I've imported just some random image that I you know what I use for my fitness page I'm just gonna try to grab something 
something from here. I'm not gonna waste you guys' time showing you guys how to cut out an image from a background. If you wanna know how to do that, click on the video at the top of the screen right now because in, in that video, I basically explain how to cut an image out of a background on Photoshop. Check that video out before you continue watching this tutorial and you know what, let's keep going because I'm just gonna fast forward through this and show you guys what it looks like at the end. Okay, so now I've cut out the image I need from the background. I'm gonna show you guys right here. I'm just gonna turn off my background layer. If you've watched that video, then you would have you know learned how to cut an image out of a background. So that's what I've got done right here. I'm just gonna grab this image just like I grabbed the initial you know photo, the background image that I used earlier. And I'm gonna grab that and place it on my template. So I'm just gonna place it. You can see right here, me still left clicking on the mouse and then hovering over here and then placing it right here and then clicking okay. What you wanna do first is click this little arrow right here, the move tool. It's gonna give you these things that you can use to adjust the way this looks. I'm just gonna press and reduce this image's size by pressing and holding down alt and then you know left clicking on the mouse and just pulling on one corner just any corner is good and just place it right there as you can see it's kind of looking weird we're just gonna you know do a little bit more work to it just a little bit more work so I think I like it where it is right there but I'm just gonna grab this image and then I'm gonna place it over your art here as well so the same place I placed the first background image and then I'm gonna right click on that image and then I'm gonna click create clipping mask as you can see it's now attached to that voila but I'm gonna add some little sauce to it you know to make it a little bit more interesting you can always move this around you know your name and add some more stuff next thing I'm gonna do right here is basically add some sauce to this little image right here so it pops out more outer glow right there is a nice one to use keep it at screen keep the settings basically the same you can reduce the opacity so it's not too much and it's kind of light but I like it really bright I just like to reduce the size so as you can see right there I got mine sort of reduced and you can just play with the spread and the size to kind of get what you're looking for in terms of the vibe once you have that done all you got to do is click OK you can add some more stuff to it there's a lot more in that options menu just right click blending options and go over all the you know options here you can mess with that's basically it guys you want to make sure you keep everything within here like I said and then have this text you know wherever you want I'm just gonna add one more thing as a matter of fact and add one more text to this because I'm, I just want to show you guys that you can edit this pre-made template into whatever you need so I'm just gonna type out all things fitness kind of like a subtitle to my main title okay so I've got that there right now I'm just gonna change the type of font like I said earlier you can go grab fonts at thefonts.com all the links to everything I'm talking about is gonna be in the description but I'm just gonna grab one of the fonts that I already have so errors bold right there seems pretty okay to me so as you can see it looks pretty weird right there I'm just gonna reduce the size so it looks like a subtitle so hit the check mark as always after editing switch to the move tool by pressing V or clicking on the move tool and then reduce the size of this by holding down alt left clicking on your mouse and holding and just pulling on one corner so I'm just gonna reduce it until I think it's okay and then pull it to somewhere around here. I, you can put whatever you want. I'm just messing around right now. I would usually probably put like a website up here, put a bunch of text back here. There's so much you can do, you know. And with the background image, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys is a few effects you can add to it. <clears throat> you wanna click on your background layer and then go to filter. For example, you can try a blur, a Gaussian blur, a motion blur. There's so many different kinds of blur. So you can see right there, the background is all blurred out. I'm just gonna leave that right there because I think it's cool. And then you can also right click the layer, hit blending options and add things like, for example, a satin. A satin darkens the image that's too dark but if it was a brighter image then you want that on there to so just kind of you know keep it in the background and then you can have a bunch of other things on there you can try whatever you want here I'm gonna show you guys how to export this right now you can always change all this text like I said earlier so you go to your file here and then you hit export and then export as and then the settings make sure you have it looking exactly like this and then just export all just export it to your wherever you want your desktop and I don't know where you want to export it to just export it wherever you want to switch out the banner on any of your pages, go over to this little camera icon over here and just switch it out. It's that easy. Select the photo from your computer and just upload it from your desktop or wherever you have it, you know, saved to. Just grab the banner. So I've got mine on my desktop. As you can see, I clicked it. And then all you got to do is you can use an auto en enhance and that gives it a little bit of a brightness, but I don't do that. I, I just edited, you know, the entire thing. So why why add some more edit to it? So it's all, it's all up to you though. It's all personal preference. And then just hit select and it'll change automatically right there. So that's basically all I've got for you guys in this video make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and i will catch you guys in my next video it is midas and i am out